Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be an introduction for my lip products I want to use up in 2024. I, um, a while back, I, you guys would have seen on Instagram, I picked out with no real reason really, I picked out some, some lip products that I wanted to focus on for 2024. Um, kind of products that are a little bit older in my collection, colors that I'm kind of neglecting, I feel that are getting old. Uh, they're all brand new but they're still kind of like getting old so i wanted to use these guys up uh for 2024 now i i picked out two, if i counted right 26 items however i already finished one that's gonna be an empty in my um november empties for this month and so that brings me down to 25 but i am currently using three if you guys don't are not familiar with my videos I did mention in a, I think in my, was in my project hand pen, I have one lip product left from my lip products I wanna use up in 2023. And it's this red one that I'm wearing. I'm wearing it on my lips and I use it as my uh, cream blush. And that for sure is gonna be done before the year ends. So I was like, it's time. I get to dive in two months early into these products. And though they are 25 items, um, I'm getting a two month head start. So I think I can finish them. I think I can finish them. None of them are very uh, long lasting. I have just two liquid lipsticks and everything else I think I can use up fairly quickly. So I'm going to get started with the three items that I'm currently using uh, because those most likely probably will be finished by the end of the year. So I have two lip balms. One is in my Project 10 pan, which is the lip, um, lip balm from Pharmacy, the Lip Bloom in the citrus in the citrus lemongrass lemongrass i'm not gonna open it because i don't want to spoil the progress for that project 10 pen so just know that this guy is in there and then currently for like my work routine i am using a liquid lipstick and a liquid in a lip balm the lip balm that i'm using is from sephora this is the moisturizing lip balm in the coconut scent and this was brand new when i first started it but this uh, when I selected it, I should say, but this is how much product product I have left. This was all the way to the top when I started using it. And obviously I have made a good, decent amount of progress, uh, because the way I'm using this one is I'm putting this one underneath the other lip, pro lip product that I'm using. And it's a liquid lipstick from Too Faced. This is the melted matte, uh, liquid matte liquid lipstick in the color pumpkin spice this is from last year or two years ago they came out with a little kit for the holidays and this is the pumpkin one and it's a very pretty brown shade um and the reason why i was using this kind of like um brown neutral nude color is because i was trying to use up my my um, green eyeshadow from my panda palette so I couldn't really wear like reds or pinks or mauve colors just because I felt like the eyeshadow was too bright and I wanted something more neutral to be able to wear it. But And so that's why I picked this color. And so I feel like I can use this up by the end of the year, by the end of these two months. These only have three mLs in it. So you guys know lip products are kind of my thing. <laughs> I'm very comfortable with using a lip, lip products. Um, and so I feel like I can have this one up finish this one up so I have these three out of so if I do finish these three I will have 22 um, at the beginning of the year and I feel like it'll be easy for me to blow through those the rest of those so that's that so I did separate them into like lipsticks lip glosses and lip balms just so I don't have to like really micro separate everything the, everything fits in one of these three categories so uh, the three the lip balms just to get them out of the way, I am. I have here the Elf Jelly Pop Luscious Lip Mask. This is still brand new. I purchased this at Marshalls. Where's the sticker? Right here for $2.99. Uh, and I, I think I can finish it. I don't think it'll take too long. Then I have another full size one. This is from the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Chris. Brazilian Chris. Brazilian Kiss Cupa Cupocao. <laughs> lip butter i've used one of these before and i really like them it's very thick um like product but it doesn't have a lot of product in it um that's all that's in here so it's kind of a wide product it's not your typical um 
the typical width of a regular lip balm. So maybe that's why it's so short. Um, but I don't know, I can go through one of these fairly quickly. Like I said, I've already used one of these before a couple of years ago. And I know I like it, so I know I can get, you know, the use out of it fairly, fairly quickly. So I'll probably save this for uh, when I'm using another liquid lipstick. And then the other two are um, kind of deluxe size products. The first one is from Dermalogica. It's the Nightly Lip Treatment. This one right here. And these are brand new. I have never used them. I don't know if you can see that this is pretty clean. And the other one is a lip oil from Clarence. This is the um, Lip Comfort Oil. It's a little tiny one. Uh, there's under three mLs in here, so this should be done in no time. So those are the four lip balms that I picked out. Then for lip glosses, I have, I think four full size and three deluxe size samples. So the three deluxe ones are the ones from Buxom. And these are the little ones that are like half the size of a full size. And these are the last three Buxom lip glosses that I have in my collection. They're very old. Uh, and so I just wanted to get them out of the way. I know I can use these out fairly quickly. So the first one that I have here is Julie. I might have another one now that I'm thinking. I think I have Dolly, another Dolly. But we said this was Julie. It's this one right here. And these are very sheer. So that's why I think it's so easy to go through them. And then this other dark purple one that looks very intimidating. This is in the color Jane. Uh, but like I said, these are, these tend to be fairly, um, like clear on your lips. That's this color right here. That's Julie. And then the other one is, uh, sugar. And this looks kind of like a glittery, sparkly, not sparkly or glittery, but shimmery. I should say that's the word. It's a more shimmery, clear gloss. It's this one right here. Very pretty. The formula of these Buxom lip glosses it's amazing. I really do enjoy them very much. Then I have this one from the brand Doll 10. I think I used this. I started using this a few years ago. If I put it up against the light, I am about down to here. So I figure I don't like having lip products opened and then stashed away. I just feel like that's when the bacteria starts accumulating. So I figured I would just get this out and start using it now. This kind of looks like a bubble gummy pink color. This one right here, kind of sheer as well. So I feel like once I put it on my lips, it's gonna look pretty sheer and kind of look like my lips, but better. And then the other one um, that I have here is from Merit. This is actually fairly recent. I came into my collection this year, but this is the tinted lip oil in from Merit in the color All Natural. And I think this is gonna be a really pretty color as well. I could probably like even apply this over, it's this one right here. I could probably apply it over this liquid lipstick if I wanted to make it a little bit shinier or more comfortable to wear. It's pretty comfortable to wear, but if I wanted to add a little bit of glossiness, I could probably apply that on top. So that's that one. Then the other two that I have are the full sizes and they're both from Urban Decay and they're very old. <laughs> so the first one is from the Revolution line that Urban Decay did away with a long time ago. And this is in the color uh, Brick House. It's a pretty like brick red color. And this lip gloss tends to be um, a little bit thicker. And that's the color right there, kind of opaque. It's gonna be very pretty for in the winter time. Uh, and it's just like a pretty shiny brick, brick color, brick red. The other one, it's from the Naked line. This is the Naked Urban Decay Lip Gloss. And you can barely see the, pro the product, but it's this color right here. It's kind of a peachy, shimmery color again. This one is in the color Naked. And it's gonna be another one of those sheer colors that should be very easy to wear. The this formula is a little bit sticky. Uh, now that I, I swatched it, it reminded me. I have used one of these before, and yeah, the formula is a little bit sticky, uh, but it's pretty and shiny and very neutral, so it should be easy for me to use up, no problem. And then last but not least, I'm moving on to the lipsticks. Aside from the liquid lipstick from Too Faced, I have one more lips, liquid lipstick. 
and it's a mini from Tarte. It's, it's the Tarteiste lip paint in the color MSG1 Bestie. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe MSG1 is a lot number. I don't know. But it's this little one. And it's also a very nude matte color. Oh, this is kind of very thick. It's this one right here. Super nude, super brown. And I'm glad that it's a little one because I'm not a big fan of this color. I'll probably be saving it for when fall time comes around. Uh, but yeah, that's that color right there. And there's not a lot of product in here, thank God. One um, ml. <laughs> so, and this is one of those products that I'm not gonna take out the stopper, and so it's gonna be really hard for me to scrape the the whole container because the wand is so tiny. So, I feel like I can go through this one fairly quickly. Then I have what would be for sure four full size items. I don't know if one of them questionable full size but we'll see uh the first three that full size that i'm going to talk about are from urban decay you guys know that i love the urban decay revolution lipsticks and when they were discontinued i ended up with like 30 of them so this year i was able to finish i think three so i picked another three for 2024 and hopefully i can finish them so the first one is for the regular revolution lipstick line and it's in the color rush and this is what this guy is looking like very pretty color this one right here mauvey very easy to wear very flattering on every eye look i think and makeup look in in general this formula is so comfortable i'm so sad that they were discontinued and then the other two are from the sheer revolution lipstick line which the formula says it's not a matte full coverage like the revolution it's just a sheer version of it and the first color that i have here is a fun color it's called sheer Ener anarchy and it's a bright bright pink this color right here you guys know i love my bright pinks and reds so it's going to be a really fun color to rock for in the winter and the spring and summer times <clears throat> and the other one is a uh, sheer rapture and it's another matte color very similar to naked right here or native i can't remember i forgot already <laughs> Uh, neither it's called rush <laughs> very similar to rush right here but this is uh, rapture so very very pretty color as you guys can see I am sticking with like very like muted neutral tones for 2024 I don't know what like I didn't do that intentionally I was just like oh this one's kind of old this one's kind of old and that's how I picked them out the other one that is um, Full size is this one from e.l.f. This is a matte lip color, crayon stick type thing in the color coral. And this is like the name says, a very pretty coral color right here. Also kind of nude. It's gonna be perfect for almost any kind of uh, look that I create with my Panda palette for 2024. So that's this one right here. And this product doesn't have a lot of product. So I feel like this will be very easy for me to go through. Um, lip crayons tend to be kind of easy for me so that's the full size the question the two other ones that I have here that are questionable full size because I don't know if if they were full size or they were just deluxe size samples but they're both from bite are they yeah they're both from bite beauty r.i.p bite beauty they no longer make them which is why I decided to pan some of these lipsticks uh, the first one is um, the matte cream matte cream lip crayon in the color aborigine and this is gonna be a fun fall color it's a very pretty burgundy color i love this color and again this is one of those that doesn't have a lot of product that's all that's in here i didn't realize that's all that was in here i thought it was honestly i thought it was gonna be kind of like the same size as the one from elf but that's gonna take me no time to use up so excited about that <laughs> then i have the other one that's a do you sharpen this one? Oh no this roll this one rolls up too this is the high pigment pencil in the color uh meritage is that how you say it meritage it's this color right here this one and also this guy has doesn't have a lot of product that's all that's in here so now that I think about it, I picked the, I picked items that are that have very little product. It's mostly packaging, but very little product, which is not bad. Then I have 
Uh, the last five that I have are deluxe size lipsticks. The first one is a dual ended lipstick from Wonder Beauty. This is the only thing I've ever owned from Wonder Beauty, so there is that. On one end, you have this lipstick, and it's in the color um, Nikki Beach, and it's kind of a pinky color. Very pretty. Love that color. Very flattering for me, I think. And the other side is the more neutral side. And this is in the color BB, the letter B and B. It's this one right here. Very pretty shades, also very pretty for like springtime. I feel like that's gonna be, that's where they're gonna be suited the best. And then the other two, I have the other three that minis that I have, I have one from Bite Beauty. This is in the color Palomino, and I have used one of these guys before, and I know that I like it. It's this very pretty pink right here, and not a lot of product, <laughs> as you guys can see. And then the other one, the other two are from YSL. This one is, what is this called? Something lipstick, I don't know, and it doesn't say the color. <laughs> But it's a very, very neutral shade. My gosh, it didn't doesn't even deposit any color. That's it right there. Super, super sheer. Super, super sheer. So that's this one. Again, a mini lipstick. It's going to take me no time to go through. And then the other one is the uh, Rouge Pour Couture. <laughs> it's what this guy looks like. And this one is, I would say, my signature red. <laughs> it's this shade right here. Very pretty. Uh, you guys know, like I said, I love my reds. And I just bent it. Oh, let's not break this guy, shall we? Oh, there, I straightened it out a little bit. <laughs> let's be super careful with this guy because we don't want to just break it. So there you have it, guys. Those are the lip products that I am going to be attempting to pan in 2024 at the beginning of the year and in january towards the end of january maybe i'll give you guys the first update so you guys can see where i'm at with the using of these guys and um yeah so very happy there you have it i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye